Okay, good morning, uh, tourism fortieth. <clears throat> Since um, uh, my times na di ako na kapag classes sa uh, or na kapag online class tayo, kasi uh, due to uh, internet uh, issue, internet connectivity issue. So, <clears throat> um, gagawin ko is uh, mag pre record na lang ako ng ating discussion for that day. So, gaya nito, and upload ko na lang para anytime mapapanood nyo siya. And makakapag-review kayo in case na may na-miss kayong klase. And, uh, yun. Para may reviewer din kayo sa mga quizzes natin na exam. Okay, our discussion for today is about uh, horse breeds. So, bakit kaya importante pa na Maging familiar tayo sa breeds. So, per breed or per lahi kasi iba't iba ang ugali niyan and then temperament niyan. And at the same time, uh, we should always, or it is important for us to be familiar with horse breeds. Like for example, sa baboy, sa aso, iba't iba ang breed niyan. And uh, kahit pa pan, maging familiar tayo sa kanila. Okay? So, first, Define natin yung breeds. A breed is defined as a group of animals within a species that have distinctive characteristics. So, when we say distinctive, uh, iba-iba. Or, uh, meron silang identity per breed. Distinctive characteristics which are transmitted to their offspring. Distinguishing characteristics may include any of the following. Conformation. So, conformation meaning yung ano ng, ba, ng katawan niya. Yung, uh, si, um, yung itsura ng katawan niya kung siya ba yung stocky, pahaba, so yun. Size, action, function, and color. Natural selection, shaped by environmental factors. So, when si natural selection, ito yung nagbibreed yung mga hayop or any species without intervention ng tao or human intervention. So, yun yung sinasabi natural selection. Breeds are created to or through natural selection by having them or the environment naturally nagbe-breed sila so when we say artificial selection naman ito naman yung intervention ng tao like for example uh, sa baboy di ba ai ang tawag doon uh, yung baboy hindi naman not necessarily papupuntahin mo pa yung barako doon sa isang uh, breeder or sa inahin tapos uh, ipapa-mate siya Nowadays, pwede mo na siyang AI, yung similya na lang kukunin. So, any artificial selection or uh, may human intervention, artificial selection ang tawag doon. So, depende yun sa gusto ng tao. Kung ano bang gusto niyong kulay ng baboy or ng pabayo for our subject, di ba? So, yun. So, there are, three classi- or th- there are three main classification ng horse breeds. So, meron tayong light horses. So, these horses are used for uh, it's either recreation or... Um, Um, riding or or sports and then meron tayo yung ponies ito yung maliliit na kabayo primarily sa ano tayo sa recreation and then meron tayong draft horses so when we say draft horses ito yung ginagamit for ano pang araro so iba't ibang uh, European countries kasi ginagamit nila yung horses nila for uh, agricultural purposes at blood horses stem from eastern origins and include yun yung Arabian the barb thoroughbred, and so on and so forth. Meron kasi tinatawag na warm-blooded and cold-blooded uh, horses. So, yeah. Cold-blooded breeds include the draft breeds. So, yun yung mga cold-blooded, yung ginagamit for, um, ginagamit pang araro or sa agricultural uh, utilization. Warm-blooded breeds include everything in between. So, yung hindi, yung wala nang, yung hindi ginagamit Sorry. Yung hindi ginagamit for uh, agricultural purposes is yun yung mga warm-blooded breeds. The term warm blood is also used to group together the German and other European and thoroughbred sports horse breeds. A feral horse is a horse that was once domesticated before escaping into the wild. For example, American Mustang and uh, Australian Brumby. So, when we say feral, ito yung mas wild na horses. Yung pinakasikat din is yung American Mustang. Most breeds are derived from other breeds. The oldest breeds were derived from the four primitive horse types. So, first is the Andalusian, originated on the Iberian Peninsula, usually white or gray and occasionally bay. 
tick main yung main ito. And then yung kanyang tail daw often wavy. Yeah. Hindi siya straight na straight. Medyo may pagka may waves dito. Has a small ears and thick neck. Tapos ang timbang niya is around uh, 900 to 1,100 pounds. And then we have the Appaloosa. It is, uh, it came from the United States. A combination of colors and spots. Yung hooves nila, yung hooves ito, yung parang ano nila, takong pa. Ay meron daw uh, white stripe, black and then may white stripe. At ang timbang nila is same lang dun sa previous na breed. Around 900 to 1,100 pounds. Yung kanila ay 1,200 pounds. So Arabian breed, ito yung Arabian horses, ito sa mga pinakamahal na breed ng kabayo from Arabia, known for their endurance. So usually bay brown, chestnut gray, or white and black carries their, their tail high. So ang tawag dito is proud, very proud siya or maangas, ayan, yung kanyang uh, puntot. Small head, dished face, so yung face niyo kung dished ay medyo palapad. And then same yung weight niya around 850 to 1,100 pounds din. So sorry, medyo may interruption sa sound kasi yung, yung kasakapit bahay na medyo na may ingay sila. So next is the Belgian horse. So ito na yung mga European breeds. So as you can see, medyo ano sila, uh, muscular. Yan. Also referred to as the Belgian draft horse. So, so yun pala yung uh, katumbas niya, yung parang pang araro or ginagamit siya for draft ng araro. Sila yung naghihila ng mga uh, pang araro. Predominant color is sorrel and flakes and mane. Wait lang. Ay, bahay. So, as you can see, medyo mabigat sila. Around 1,800 to 2,000 pounds compared dito sa mga... Okay, ito na pala yun, yung example ng cold-blooded uh, horse or cold-blooded uh, breeds. Yeah. So, ito medyo mas magaang sila and ito uh, almost uh, double yung weight nila. Next is uh, the Clydesdale. Ito naman from Scotland, normally bay or brown with white markings sa uh, legs and sa paan or sa mukha ayan. Okay, so meron silang white hair sa pa, uh, sa may bandang paa nila and yung tawag dun is feathers, okay? So in case na mag-exam tayo kung anong tawag dito, yung parang uh, buhok nila sa paa, feathers ang tawag dun. Same din yung kanyang weight around 1,900 to 2,000 pounds. So yung mga <clears throat> as you can uh, observe yung mga um, cold-blooded na breeds um, for drafting sobrang lalaki nila and mabibigat sila compared dun sa mga uh, warm blooded breeds ito yung mga breed na ginagamit in uh, some part of Europe for draft or for agricultural purposes the next is a uh, Dutch draft ito naman from the Netherlands so meron tayong typo has short and or short and erect ears Coat color is normally chestnut or bay and sometimes black. Ito naman medyo mas magaan compared sa mga previous but uh, ginagamit din siya for draft. And next we have the Percheron. Galing naman siya ng France. So kung French to, hindi yun yung tamang pagka-pronounce. So medyo mano kasi sila sa pronunciation, di ba? <clears throat> yung mga French. So usually black in color meron uh, or they are known for being extremely docile and can weigh anywhere from 1,700 to 2,000 pounds. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Wait lang, may medyo may ngayon yung sa labas. Okay, again, uh, yung uh, mga cold-blooded, ayan, for drafting, and medyo malalaki sila compared dun sa mga warm-blooded. And ito namang uh, Percheron. Usually black and color daw, tapos galing siya ng France. Okay, next ay... Uh, Known for being extremely docile. So when we say docile, 
uh, paano ano na yung pronunciation ko, hindi ko sure kung tama yung pagkakapronounce ko. But uh, basically, ibig sabihin niya mabait or masunurin. Madali silang i-train. And then yung weight nila is ganun din, 1,700 to 2,000 pounds. Then we have the Frisian from the Netherlands ulit. Yung itim lagi ang kulay niya. And then, uh, kailangan mo register yung, or big before mo siya ma-register na Frisian, dapat daw meron siyang white star sa forehead. So, before may register yung uh, kabayo na yan. Before siya ma-acknowledge as Frisian, dapat meron daw siyang star dito sa forehead. And yung weight niya, medyo ma mas magaang compared dun sa previous. 1,300 to 1,000 pounds. And then we have the Hackney. Ito na yung medyo uh, maliliit or uh, light uh, weight or ano na tawag. Warm-blooded breeds. Ayan. Galing to ng Britain, Great Britain. Ayan. Maybe so, any solid colors. Kasama yung bay, brown, chestnut, and black. Meron doon silang white markings. And then yung ulo nila is maliit. And then yung timbang nila around 800 to 1,200 pounds. Okay. Next is a uh, Hanoverian from Germany naman to. Chestnut, bay, black, and gray or white ang color nila. And ginagamit to sila or binibreed sila for uh, sports. So, it can be it could be racing or then yung, yung sa equestrian, yung may mga hurdles na tumatalon sila. So, dun sila ginagamit. And yung weight nila is around 1,100 to 1,450 pounds. Next, we have the Lipisan. Galing naman to ng Spain or it originated from Spain, gray or white. Yung dominant color or mas namang na kulay. They are born dark. Dark. Blackish brown or brown. And then, nagiging gray daw sila around 6 to 10, 6 to 10 months to. Tapos yung tail nila, same sa Arabian horse, high daw yung pagkakakari nila. And 1,000 to 1,300 pounds sila. Next is uh, Morgan. Ito naman galing sa US. Usually, bay or chestnut ang kulay. Known din sila for endurance and manageability. And 1,000 to 1,200 pounds ang timbang nila. And then, we have the miniature horse. From Europe naman to. And then, uh, marami silang color patterns. Yung height nila is uh, under <clears throat> 34 inches. Tapos yung weight nila is medyo magaang. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so yun sa Tobiano and Obero. Uh, hindi ko pa siya nasi-search. So, tignan natin siya ngayon. Yung color na yun, hindi ako familiar eh. Nahihirap naman na maroon. Tignan mo na natin. Yung color na yan. Tobiano and Obero kasi lagi ko siyang na-encounter. Ah, yung may mga patches pala siya. So when we say Tobiano and Obero, yun parang may mga patches. Ayan. Okay, next is the Mustang. So, this is one of the most or more popular popular breed ng kabayo. Feral horse found in the western United States. So, when we say feral, yung mga wild horse to. So, makikita nyo talaga uh, very uh, yung katawan nila is designed for the wild. Muscular sila and very stocky. Descendant from horses brought to America from Spain, full range of colors can be found. So, maraming silang variation ng kulay. And yung timbang nila is around 700 to 800 pounds. And then, we have the paint from the United States din to. Can only have bloodlines uh, of paint horses, quarter horses, or toro breeds. Two basic colors. So, yun yun. Yung Tobiano and Obero, yun yung mga patches. Yung timbang nila is around 750 to 1,300 pounds. And then we have the Paso Pino, again sa US to, or uh, specifically South America. Small head, white set, white, white set of eyes, and then yung marami silang color, color patterns, including yung Tobiano and Obero. Yung may mga patches nga, and then timbang nila is around 700 to 1,100 pounds. And now we have the Quarter Horse, from US ulit ito. Known for its, for its incredible speed for over short distances. Often used as working cow. So, ginagamit din pala siya for, uh, for farm works. And then, multiple possible colors. Okay. So, yung sorrel. Search ulit natin siya kasi hindi ako familiar sa kulay na sorrel. 
Ent parehas Tallinnat, uh, pare parehas Tallinnat na tututo dito sa subject na tas di, uh, di ako saan masyadong pamilyar sa horses. So, red color. A reddish coat, mukhang so yun, parang dark brown. Ayan, so yun yung sorrel. And then we have the Shetland Pony. It came from Scotland naman. Stocky body. So when we say stocky body, so yung maiksi or maliit tapos sobra siyang muscular. Yun yung definition or meaning ng stocky. Can be any color except spotted. So wala kayo makikita ang spotted na to. Basta marami siyang variation ng color. Basta wala, hindi siya spotted. Unless syempre, uh, i-cross breed nyo siya, di ba? Anywhere from 28 to 46 inches tall. So medyo hindi siya ganun katangkaran. Given na pony kasi siya. Weighs about 400 pounds or less. And then we have the Shire. Drop horse native to Central England. So ito naman yung uh, for farming ng, or for draft ng mga taga England. Can be black bay or brown. White feathers sa kanilang legs. Ayan, feathers yung tawag dito ha. And then white below knees. White below knees. Mas mababa sa tuhod. And then white blaze on face. Ayan. Around 1,700 to 2,000 plus pounds. We have the, or next we have the Tennessee walking horse. Galing sa Tennessee ito sa uh, US. Can be black bay chestnut sorrel. Again, yung sorrel, yun yung uh, dark brown. Or white long neck and, or long neck and long straight head. Around 1,000 to 1,200 yung weight niya. Ito yung toro bread na dinidiscuss kanina. From England, can be any solid color. Has extremely long legs. So, pag kung makikita nyo sa mga ayo uh, kahit sa aso, pag long-legged sila, usually for racing sila, weighs around or anywhere from 900 to 1,200 pounds. So, syempre, hindi man natin ipapatalo yung breeds natin, di ba? So, these are the known horse breeds na or na meron tayo dito sa Pilipinas. First, we have the Baguio Pony. Ayan. The ancestors of the Baguio Pony came with Chinese, Brazilian, and South American marketeers. So when we say marketeers, ito yung mga traders and dealers who came into the Philippines to trade and then left their animals behind. So yun yung, uh, uh, tawag dito, ancestor <laughs> ng Baguio Pony. Um, galing sa mga Chinese, sa mga Brazilian and South American na mga mga lakal. Ayan. Because of extreme climate, a small, extremely robust pony developed alongside with similar. Ito yung isang breed natin, yung Baguio Light Horse. In the uh, early 18th century, the country was overrun with horses and cattle but the races began to de degenerate. So dum during the 18th century daw marami tayong horses but medyo nabawasan na sila. And then, uh, Spanish and Arabian horses were used to increase and improve the small herds, virtually saving them. Due to lack of serious breeding programs, their bloodlines have become diluted with various breeds of the area. So, tinray daw na i-resurrect yung mga breeds ng, or palakihin yung mga breeds sa Pilipinas. Kaso, due to cross-breeding and napapalahi na dun sa ibang lahi or breeds, medyo nabawasan yung quality ng mga horse breeds sa Pilipinas. Trail ponies. So yung trail ponies, pag sinabing trail ponies, ginagamit to for uh, yung mga tra transportation. Like for example, minsan, or dito sa may minskat sa ating main campus, makikita nyo di ba yung mga ginagamit nila para sa pag uh, umakit sila sa bundok. So yun yung tinatawag na tra trail ponies. Uh, today, this Uh, tough little ponies have been reduced to an area around Wright Park sa ano to? Sa Baguio. In the central Baguio City where they are used for tourist attractions and pony rides. They are handled by locals called pony boys. Pony boys yun yung mga nagahandle sa mga kabayo na Who make their living caring for the animals. The boys help children and their parents with pony trail rides. The pony boys also have festivals different times of the year where they compete with each other by racing through the city. So, ang features niya naman is ang average height niya is 53 inches. And then, sila ay extremely hardy and strong. So, yung mga say hardy, yung matatag sila sa, in terms of sa weather. Kaya nilang uh, mag-survive sa init or sa lamig. And then, hindi sila basta nagkakasakit. 
temperament nila or yung ugali nila is mabait daw, kind and willing. Anong uh, utilization nila or yung gamit nila is for, ayan, yung trail ponies, riding pony, transportation, and sometimes racing. The other breed is uh, the Baguio Light Horse. I think ito yung common dito sa Pilipinas na nakikita natin. Similar to the Baguio Pony, the Light Horse of the same name derives from horse stock. Brought into the Philippines by Chinese, Brazilian, and South American dealers or traders who then abandon their animals. In, yeah, ito, ito nakikita ko dito eh. So may uh, mean scat. Origins, the various breeds that were the basis of baggy light horses and ponies for, another, for, rather, rather, for a rather lovely small horse. Due to the extreme local weather, they are, they are also bred tough and resistant. The larger baggy light horse is generally used. For tourists, uh, teens, and adult trail rides, the smaller ponies are given to children. They are often decorated and their manes are dyed uh, for attraction. So, pinukulayan yung mane nila. Ito yung mane. Tourism is the primary source of income for the pony boys. Yun, sila yung mga nag-handle ng mga kabayo doon sa Baguio. Who, who care for and maintain the rides the horses have are their main commodities. So average height is uh, 56 inches. Head is rough. Yung neck nila is maxi. Yung shoulder ay bevilled. So pag nasi bevilled, uh, widened. Yeah. And then medium length ba, uh, black back. So hindi sila masyadong pahaba ng kabayo. Yung breed nila. And then bushy in mane and long tail. So bushy yung parang magulo yung mane nila. Hindi sobrang straight. And then ito yung tail nila ay ano daw, uh, mahaba. And then hooves are hard. Ito, medyo makunat yung kanilang uh, paa or panas tagal. Yung parang sapatos nila to eh. Kasi nga since uh, they are bred uh, in a tropical country wherein uh, they need to be tough and uh, resilient sa weather. So yun, nag-develop na eventually yung mga hooves nila. Then their temperament. Uh, are uh, kind and forgiving. They are used for trail as trail horse, riding horse, and transportation. And malakas na yung hangin. Okay. Uh, kung may questions kayo, please uh, paki uh, post nyo na lang dun sa ating uh, sorry po ako makain sa ating um, stream. Uh, and then magpo-post ako ng ating attendance. Okay. Um, see you on the next meeting. Kung hindi ko man di ako makapag live online class or makapag uh, live stream, eh, pepre record ko na lang ko na lang ulit siya gaya nito. So, okay. See you and uh, stay safe. Thank you.